This is a brief video on how to use primary sources in your research using the George O. Colson Annotated Bibliography of South Texas Historical Resources. There are a couple of challenges when using primary sources. One is finding them, and second is making sense of your primary source. There are a lot of beautiful pictures, artwork, documents, but mean little if you don't know what they are. First of all, primary sources are, but not limited to, documents, letters, images, oral histories, artifacts, artwork, or newspaper advertisements. Basically anything that provides first-hand testimony or direct evidence concerning an historical topic. The trick with primary sources is having background information on your topic and sources. That can be difficult if you are researching something for the first time. If you have the background knowledge, searching our database for primary sources is easy. Just go to our website and browse your search query. If not, this is what you do. Find a topic in one of the time periods. Use all the subjects to get an idea of what you want to research. Read the annotations to see if something strikes your interest. Then get that book, article, dissertation, and read up on it. This will let you get context for your subject and your primary source. What you're looking for are subject terms in the annotated bibliography. These are usually proper nouns that have specific meaning. For example, Spanish food isn't much of a subject term, but tamales is an excellent one, and we have many primary sources on that term. Another subject term would be the Armagosa Ranch. This is a much better targeted subject term than ranches. Then plug Armagosa Ranch in the Archives Browse feature. This annotated bibliography of South Texas is tailor-made for the South Texas Archives. You'll find that there's all sorts of primary sources on the Armagosa Ranch. Also, the Armagosa Ranch can be found in multiple time periods for secondary sources. If you need help, please don't hesitate to ask. We can streamline the research process and save you time. This project was made possible by a grant from the U.S. Institute of Museum and Library Services and the Texas State Library Archives Commission.